Welcome back. <clears throat> I am Tim Hayde. I'm your host. And um, I wanted to just make a really super short video. Let's just go straight into your store. There's a lot that we um, kind of missed because it's been a long time since I've actually had to deal with um, doing this. And so like before I said something about that we didn't have a, uh, a back office. Well, we actually do have a back office. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this and we're going to tell it to do a single step. And we're just going to go ahead and type in um, go to or go. And then we'll do layout, layout. And that's going to let us go straight into the um, back office. <laughs> See, I almost missed it again. Double click on back office and it'll go in there and we'll say okay. And now this um, button will go straight into the back office anytime that we need it to. Now, you can, uh, you could actually create a, a script because you don't want um, just anybody to get into your back office from, from this point. So um, what we could do is, and, and you know what, let's just, let's set that up really quick. Let's tell it, instead of doing a single step, let's tell it to perform a script. And we're just gonna, we're gonna select this, um, either Alt N or we'll press the plus button. And we're gonna call it um, back office um, security. And we will select OK. Now, what we need to do um, first and foremost is we see that we have the security box. So we're going to say um, if. So if. And we'll just type in is empty. And then it's going to want to know what what so we'll do the security box so if the security box is empty then what do we want it to do well we basically just want it to go to um, just go to the the layout and we just want it to go to the original layout which is the layout that we're on and then end if but if it is not empty so we'll click down, click anywhere in the field. Now we'll do if, and we'll click the little FX and we'll type in not, well, no, let's not do that. Let's just go back, 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 not. And then we'll type in is empty and then the security box. Um, oh, what do we want it to do? What do we want it to do? Well, if it's not empty, we want it to, uh, um, let's, let's not do that. Let's, let's erase if let's delete that. So if the security box is equal to <clears throat> and th this is where you're going to put in your passcode so if it is equal to one two three four then we want to um, we're going to tell it to go to a layout so we'll just go select go to layout layout and um, back office and we'll double click it but what we're going to want to do is let's click on this if right here because it, if it is this then we want it to go here but what do we want it to do before then we want to make sure that we empty that field so if we click on this if here it'll highlight that and then we can do set field we'll specify the field the security box we're just going to specify the parentheses to clear it up. And now, um, that's end if 
so we should be good and then we'll just click on the bottom and we'll type in halt script and we're good to go so now that's okay we'll select okay we'll close it we'll exit the layout so now you can see it how it highlights it and the admin is the same way um, we put in the security code of one two three four so if we select it it does nothing because the box is empty so this one will do the exact same thing box is empty but if we type in one two three four well it'll go straight to the back office now if you noticed um, when we were doing the um, on the admin one we actually told it to create a dialog let me in and so um, if we if we actually if we click it here it'll go to the script not on the little scroll thingy so if it is empty the security box just halt the script and that's fine um, if the if it is equal to one two three four we'll uh, set the field to zero we'll go to the layout halt the script but if it is not equal to one two three four we're going to clear the box and then we'll show a custom dialog. So this is the part that we're actually missing. So what we need to do is probably go back into um, this one and we need to click on it and we need to add that particular part of that script to this to the segment so that if um, so we'll click on the end if we'll re-click another if so if pressing this security box is not equal to and we'll just type in one two three four now these codes can be anything that you want so if you if your manager you want it to be seven eight nine ten or or uh, six seven eight nine that's fine you can you can do that um, this is just for demonstration purposes you put in your own numbers and don't worry your back office guy isn't going to be able to um, get into anything that you don't want him to so we'll go ahead and say that that's okay so if it is not equal to one two three four then what do we want it to do well we want it to automatically set the field so that we can clear the field the security box and we're just going to clear that field with the little parentheses and we'll click off of it we'll click back on set the field and then what do we want to do we want to show a custom dialog because we want we don't want people to just um, just type things in there and that's one of the things you have to worry about and that's the reason why the reason why we're adding this is because somebody might put something into that security box and then it won't clear it it'll just stay there forever and ever and ever and you won't be able to get rid of it so in the title, what we're going to do is we'll put um, security warning, and and then we will the message will be you are not authorized to use this um, portal. Please contact um, your administ. If I could learn how to spell, <laughs> please contact your administrator. Um, please contact your administrator for authorization. I don't really want to use the word authorization, so um, let's just use assistance and we'll get rid of the cancel button because we don't really want it so we'll delete it and we'll call it good now um, we'll we'll go ahead and end that get rid of that exit the layout so now if we put in six seven eight nine 
Uh, see, you are not authorized to use this portal. Contact your administrator for assistance. And it's just going to stay there. So, one, two, three, four. And back office. And we will go. Filemaker Pro. You are not authorized. Please contact your administrator. Well, how did that... What was that about? Let's go back and find out. Launch page. One, two, three, four. Back office. This operation could not be completed because the target is not part of a related table. Well, it doesn't have to be part of a related table. You know what? Let's go. Where did we mess up? Because if we go to the launch page, we type in one, two, three, four takes us right to the admin so we're good to go so what did we miss I like to purposefully do things um, just to kind of find out what's going on so the let me in so if uh, the security packet is not equal set the security box to zero show custom dialogue do 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 and if halt script okay so that's that's pretty simple. We'll click that back off of security. Um, if it is empty, go straight to the regular layout and if uh, security box set field and um, and if. I see. So what we forgot to do is after this, we need to press, or before that, let's go back here, and we need to halt script. So if this is correct, then it will just halt the script. And then if, um, so it'll just jump. So if it is equal, because what will happen is it'll end if, and then it'll just continue going. So we don't want to actually do that. Uh, show custom dialog, blah, 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 blah. Let's see if that works. So, okay. Exit layout. One, two, three, four. Back office. Ta-da. Went right back to the back office. How sweet is that? Didn't even have to worry about it. Okay, so now we've gotten into the back office, and there was, I know that there was a lot of other places where we were at, where we were looking at, um, is this going to go into the back office? Oh, look, we highlighted candles. That's kind of weird. I didn't, I don't really, I don't like that even at all. I like it better just like that. Um. Go to our invoice and see what we did. Cash. Verified. Look how good we are. Okay. So one of the things that I really wanted to talk about was my computer is giving out. And um, it is just giving me fits. Um, I've tried to dump all the information uh, from like all my videos and stuff onto an external hard drive. And I've cleaned every single thing I possibly can, but my computer is just getting old and I wanted to get a new one. And so what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the Ryzen chip to come out and then I'll just create a new, um, a new one with the Ryzen chip. And what I want to do is I want to be able to start doing like, um, I want to do live streams. I want to I want to do like all kinds of things, and so I can actually help people out like right away. Um, so please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you are hooked up with the the, the Google Plus thing. Um, and if there's anything that I'm missing or that you can uh, think of that you want, and plus some of the other videos that I did, I wasn't able to do in high resolution. Just because it was it was taking hours and hours and hours to do so we're not going to this video will actually be done in high resolution because it's a very short video but um, the it, as soon as I get my new computer set up and we get things going and that should be in about a month or so 
Uh, we're looking at probably the end of March. So once that system is uh, set up and we get a new office, because we're currently building a new office, um, shouldn't take very long. But we will start doing live streams and we're going to start doing um, high res uh, videos for you guys again. And we're going to get into a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more because even though we did get into a lot of um, a lot of this, there's all of these other boxes that we need to get into. And some of the things that we're going to look forward to is what I want to do is instead of just doing the daily sales and the inventory, as you see, um, this is one where this back office button, oh, back office button does work. Okay. So this is one of those things where, um, God, I kind of lost my train of thought because <laughs> I'm just spinning all over the place. New record menu, list view. Well, we'll just go back to here. Um, there's all kinds of different reports that we want to do. And one of the reports that we want to do is we want to do product management. So we want to know how many hot dogs did you sell in any given day? How many um, other things did you sell? And then we want to be able to export those to PDF files so that management knows um, what our sales are. And we can actually start to chart some of these things. So stay tuned because there is so, so much more. If you have this basic template that I have, and you have followed me, you should be able to create, um, just on what you know, you should be able to create a POS system that will work in your stores. And that's exactly where you wanna be because we're gonna add this stuff as you put data in. So this is gonna work out really super well and I'm really glad you guys um, joined me for this. So please, please, please subscribe. Uh, give me the thumbs up. I, I need it. Uh, I'm going to spend a lot more time doing this, so I need uh, all the help I can possibly get. So if you guys can share the videos, that would also be great. But don't worry, I will and I am here to help you. And I hope that these videos have done as much for you. So thanks for joining us. And until next time, um, we'll see you guys later. Thanks.